Hello YouTube and welcome to our 56 Unity 3D tutorial and in this tutorial the user Marika Sakaru again, she's welcome back again um, asked for a way to take out weapons from your back so like um, Skyrim or something so when your weapon's on your back or in your pocket or something you can take it out and then you can use it and you can put it back so um, I did some searching, got a sword here and by, thank you to Ve Velocity X, comma, for modeling this. It is a low poly one, so it won't make such a really bad lag on our game. And I've imported it to Unity, and let's begin. Um, I haven't actually tested this yet, so this is all going to be off the top of my head. But it should work because it does seem quite simple. So we've got our sword here, so let's drag it out into our scene and as you can see there's nothing there because when we zoom out it is absolutely huge. As you can see it's a little bigger than what we need. So what we're going to do is we're just going to massively shrink it down. So we'll start at 0 0.1. We don't want to generate colliders yet, we'll just leave that. And a little better but still very very big. Let's try 0 0.01. It's getting there, it looks kind of still too big, but if you want to sort that big, hey, you're halfway there, but um, personally, I, I don't think it's our game. So, um, I'm going to shrink it down even more. 0 0.001. This is going to be tiny now, hopefully. And it's still like a little dagger. Oh my god, that is so cool. But, alright, so let's rotate it up and we'll just rotate it to the position where we think we'd want a sword. Ignore that, that was my phone. And we'll just stick that around here. Stick it in his hand. We can model his hand and we'll do the animations later. This bit isn't going to consist of putting in um, animations because that's just, you know, what my animations are like in Unity. Mmm. I think it's got to be bigger. Definitely, definitely got to be bigger. Um, yeah, definitely bigger. So, 0 0.3, triple size of it. Oh, too big. No, no, no. Double, double, double. That's good. I like that. So, let's stick that in. In fact, if we just rotate it so it's holding it in his hand, because then we can just animate his hand, it seems a lot easier. So we'll just stick that in there. Yeah, that looks cool. Look at the sword on him. Yeah. But as you can see, it's a blank texture, which isn't very good. So if we go into it, there is only one part in it, which is really helpful. We stick our te texture on it. Boom. We now have a good sword. Look at that. That looks so cool. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. So what we can do is we'll... Sorry about that. I stopped my recorder. So we'll call this... Um, Sword of Justice. I must remember to merge that back in. Um, if you didn't know, F2 is a key for rename. It's a shortcut. I think it's the same on a Mac. But it's also what stops my recorder. I should probably change that. Um, but my previous card didn't work. But then my previous card was terrible. It cr ends up crashing for some reason. But yeah, so we've got the sword now. So what we're going to do is we'll stick the sword in... Well, if we just stick it in here, whenever he moves his arm, it won't stay with him. We want it to stay with him. So if we search through Shao Kahn and find which hand he's actually holding it with, we can just stick it into the hand, and then we can move his hand, and I'll show you. Um, try it here. I believe this is the right one. Let's rotate it and have a look. Yeah, that'll do. But we don't want it on his arm. We want it on his actual hand. So if we stretch this out some more going better but it'll still be better on his arm hand yeah yeah that'll do so if we just stick the sword of justice into his hand here yeah that one there we go so now watch this when we rotate his arm oh no put it back to local so for some reason there we go there we go. Chop, 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 chop. So as you can see, he now has a hand, a sword which moves with the hand, which is not 
what we want yet, but it's really, really simple to do. So we've got that, which is really good. And now I'm thinking, well, there's pretty much a hundred ways to go along this. We could just add it to our current script, our player fire one, which would, when we press 4, make this sword appear. Or we could do a Skyrim thing, so you drag and drop it onto what you want. Um, but that's all later to us. So for now, I'm just going to basically do it into our player fire script. So when we press 4, the sword goes here, and when it's gone, it goes gone. We can later add animations to grab it from the back and stuff, but for now, we'll just stick to it basically. So, we can add it into a transform script if you want, but I'm just gonna. In fact, yeah, we will. So, we'll go var sword in hand will be a transform. Will it be a transform? No, we'll make it a game object. Object. There we go. So, we can add an audio clip to it, but we won't be using it yet. We'll call this sword in hand sound. And we'll just make these lowercase. There we go. So, we've got that. Um, we need a fourth. So, four equals sword in hand. I'm calling it sword in hand so that we can change the variable. Uh, with some kind of switching script so you can pick swords up and stuff later. Not this tutorial though. So Hadouken are locked, uh, so we'll leave that for now. So here, this is where we want to start. So if weapon number equals 4, which it will, well, when we press 4, we need to make it do it. So copy this, paste. If it equals 4, then it will equal 4. There we go. So if it equals 4, what do we want it to do? Um, transform. Well, you all know game object dot find searches your entire scene, which we all know. However, what about if you just want to search one object? Well, this bullet of player fire is currently attached to the character, so to search just inside the character, what we can do is type transform dot find. It'll only search inside the character and it'll pick up his transform but then what we can do after is dot game object. So it'll search inside the character so for every transform in the character and it will find whatever the hell we've called it uh, where is it sort of just this copy. I need to stop trying to hit F2 um, so if we paste it back into here, so ah, copy, paste. There we go. So transform that find sort of just a dot game object dot active um, equals true. Will that work? Yeah. But what we need to do is we also need to disable it. So if we go back to hmm. That's not going to work. No, no, no. We need to paste that here. So weapon number four there. So if input like get key four, we press it because where we put it, we press E and then it will constantly spawn, spawn, spawn. We don't want it. We want to press it as soon as we press four, so it to be active. So it will be true. Um, and we'll create a new function. Function turn items off. And here we'll just put that and just make it false. So we can paste this into all of these like so so now it should turn it them all off which does that but when we press 4 it should enable it and for we will just for now print mohahahaha attack I don't know but so that should work so what we're going to do first is disable this ah it won't work we, we do need a sword in hand variable so we don't need transform.find anymore, we need to use a game object because when we disable it, the transform.find won't find it because it's disabled. So we can put sword in hand active equals true, sword in hand active equals false. That'll do. So now if we go back to our character here, we've got no errors, which is good because I'm not done this yet. Um so just this in hand. And now we can disable the shield, so just, just this, so he's empty. Let's try it.
Fingers crossed. Big fingers crossed. So we can work. Can we fire? Yep. We haven't unlocked Hadouken because that falls down. We can slow down time, but yeah. So let's see. Press 4. So we've got two views. Press 4. Boom. So we now have a sword. So we are walking around with a sword. That is uh, okay. I think that's quite cool. Let's change it. Gone. And the back. Stab. Well, I'm surprised that works actually. But that's it. So that's off of the top of my head. So you can see it is really simple. If you want to go ahead and make animations, the best place I would put it would be here. So insert anim here. But then you just want to run a quick if statement looking for when the animation's finished, then make the sword. Yeah. Or just move the parent when the animation gets there. So So thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And thank you to Marika for the great suggestion. Quite a good one. Um and see you next time.